Welcome to TechLux. Please support our channel by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing. John Travolta is a diehard fan of aviation. Due to his passion for aircraft, he trained to become a pilot. He has a large collection of aircrafts and that is worth over millions of dollars. Since he needed a place for his jets and planes, he bought a mansion that has its own personal runway and personal hangar. In this video, we are going to be talking about John's airport mansion as well as the aircrafts he owns and also the fun stories behind them. So let's jump right straight to it. John Travolta's mansion is located in Florida, USA, in the city of Ocala, specifically at the estate of Jumbo Layer Airport. The complete area of the residence is 550 acres. The Jumbo Layer Airport land costed John around 16 million US dollars to create. However, it is basically paying for itself due to its publicity because it allows aviator enthusiasts to have easy access to a private airport of the well-known actor. The runway is measured to be around 7,750 feet long and is well lit and paved with good cement making it America's longest private runway. It is even rated to be able to handle commercial aircrafts like the Boeing 737-800. The place consists of 38 residential houses with a mini taxiway connected to each doorstep making them basically fly-ins so the neighbors have complete access to the runway when they need it. Back in the 80s, the land where the Jumbo Layer runway is located was a ranch that was owned by Muriel Vanderbilt. When Muriel sold the land, it was owned by the founder of a prestigious fitness company called Notilius owned by Arthur Jones. Arthur Jones was the initial aviator enthusiast before John, and he was the one who combined his passion for aviation to his own personal land. It is said to have costed Jones $6 million to build it in 1984. The property even had a private zoo with African wildlife such as elephants, crocodiles, and gorillas. By 1989, due to bad marriage, Jones divorced with his wife, Terry. When Terry got the estate due to a court settlement, she began opening the runway to other people in order to create an exclusive gated community for aviator fans. News were coming around back then that the estate was going to be on sale. And of course, John Travolta would buy it. On top of the 550 acres, the amazing deal included the 5-bedroom, 7,686-square-foot mansion, a personal swimming pool, and a fitness center filled with Arthur Jones' own personal training equipment. The deal also included an 8,735-square-foot conference center for meetings or a banquet hall for large parties that can easily seat 400 people at a time. There also were warehouses that takes up around 90,000 square feet as well as, at that time, 70 estate lots with runway access that were not being utilized. There were also 30 residential lots that were producing passive income. All of the things aforementioned were offered by John Travolta at the time of the purchase for only 10.5 million US dollars, which looked like a steal back then. Travolta and his wife, Kelly, purchased one of the first residents that became available for purchase at the Jumbo Layer Airport Estate back in 2001. After eight years of the day of the purchase, John had been looking for additional space that could cope with his recently purchased aircrafts at that time. So, in the end, the couple acquired an additional 9.5 acres of the land that was reported to have cost them around 3.5 million US dollars, which, after current inflation, is probably around 6 million dollars today. In an article written in 2004 by Architectural Digest, Preston said it was always his husband's dream to have planes in his front yard, to practically be able to pull up to the house so that when they wanted to go to dinner, all they had to do was to step out of the door, get on the plane, and whisk off. The house has a total of six bedrooms and two kitchens. They are connected to three dining areas where you may enjoy the meals that are being cooked. Outside, there is an in-ground swimming pool with a hot tub that is connected to it. Near the pool is a cabana that has its own bar. It is said that the cabana costed around $5,000 to construct. The mansion even has a personal golf course, which, on average, could cost as much as $500,000. The house also has enough parking space for 16 vehicles. John Travolta was reported to own a lot of aircrafts. One of his most famous purchases is the Boeing 707-138B. It originally cost $4.3 million way back in 1955. The aircraft's original owner was Qantas, the Australian airliner based in Mascot, Australia. It was converted from a public commercial airliner to a privately used aircraft in 1968. 
from undisclosed sources, they said that the same aircraft was also owned by jazz singer Frank Sinatra. John Travolta acquired the aircraft in 2002 and signed up with Gantas to become a goodwill ambassador. Because of this relationship and partnership, the airline offered their services to maintain the aircraft for him as long as a Qantas branding is plastered all over the aircraft. Originally, before the refurbishing of the aircraft for private use, the aircraft could hold around 140 passengers. But now, there is space for only 25 people since John wanted to have space inside for a master bedroom, a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room. By 2017, John announced that he would be donating his 737 aircraft to the Historical Aircraft Restoration Society located in Australia. There were rumors that the transportation of the aircraft from John's airport mansion to the museum costed $2 million. Another amazing aircraft that John has is a Bombardier Challenger 601. It is publicly announced that he bought the aircraft in 2011. At the time of the purchase of the Bombardier, John had 11 aircrafts in his fleet. John also became an ambassador of the Bombardier, which is based in Montreal, Canada. During an interview with Business Jet Traveler, John was asked what made him interested in the Challenger 601. John's response was, it uses Air Canada technology, which has evolved to an extraordinary degree since the 1970s. He also mentioned that since he loves traveling with his family, he wants the most comfortable mode of travel possible in the cabin. A Bombardier Challenger 601 is reported to cost as much as 21.4 million US dollars. The price for just renting the aircraft for private use is around 6,800 US dollars per hour. One of John's most interesting purchases was the Gulfstream 2. It was said that John had an incident with Gulfstream 2 as he was flying it three decades ago. In 1992, John was flying the aircraft at around 400 miles per hour at night from Florida to Maine. But then, a problem happened just above the Washington skies. Cruising at around 12,000 feet, the Gulfstream 2 suffered complete electrical failure, meaning John couldn't use radio communications or instruments of the aircraft to analyze or judge his position. Due to the fact that he cannot talk with air traffic control, John basically piloted the aircraft blind with no outside assistance. It was so bad that the air traffic control radio cautioned another pilot of an aircraft that is taxiing next to the runway to see if he can see the Gulfstream 2 landing. John managed to land the aircraft safely with no injuries to himself as well as the others on the ground. In 2012, John decided to donate Gulfstream 2 to the Georgia Aviation Hall of Fame and he did it in honor and respect of his son, Jed, who passed away in 2009. One of the few stories about John's passion with aviation is that he also witnessed in person the opening of one of the most expensive airports in the world named the Beijing Daxing International Airport in China in 2019. The cost of constructing the airport was reported to be 120 billion Chinese yuan, which is around 18 billion US dollars. In addition to the cost of the airport, the development around the airport, such as hotels and entertainment shops, costs around 330 billion yuan, which is 49 billion US dollars. I hope you enjoyed our video discussing about John Travolta's amazing airport mansion and the stories of his passions of aviation. If you like this video, please support us by clicking the like button down below. And oh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified for any future uploads from our channel next time.